Hey, Veronica here. I am coming to you to give you your weekly Angel Oracle card reading. And this week I will be using the Healing with the Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Okay, and this is a very special week. I'm super excited because it is the week of the autumn equinox. Oh my gosh. My favorite season is finally here. I know it's the favorite se season for so many of us. Uh, but this reading is for uh, September 17th through September the 23rd. And I've already asked the Archangels to come through and give us messages of guidance and hope and healing and love and everything and anything that we may need to hear for the week. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and begin and not keep you waiting any further and get the first card. Listening. This is a beautiful card and I love this card. This card really speaks to me because uh, so many of us get so busy. I get busy speaking for, for myself. I get busy with just the everyday hustle and bustle of life, you know, with all the responsibilities that we have. We tend to forget to slow down and to just breathe, to slow down and just listen. Listen to your heart, listen to your spirit, listen to what your guardian angels are trying to tell you. So the archangels here, your guardian angels, they are telling you for this week, especially because of the transition of the autumn equinox, slow down, breathe, just take the beauty around you in and listen. Listen to the guidance and not only listen to the guidance that they are bringing you, but also follow it, act on it. Great, okay. Now for the second card. New love. This is beautiful. Now, cards that talk about love, and I apologize for the glare here, but cards that talk about new love, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a romantic love, uh, but it also means a new love. I know a lot of us, a lot of us are going to experience this because of the autumn equinox, because of, of uh, the autumn season coming. We are just going to awaken and feel like we are coming back to ourselves. I know that during the summer, all I do is hibernate and I'm just a recluse when it comes to summertime. And then when autumn comes around, I feel like I'm me again. I feel like I can come out of my cocoon and I'm anew. And then I just get this renewed feeling of love for the earth and the seasons and all that it has to offer. All that earth and the spirit of earth have to offer us and can teach us through the, their guidance. I want to encourage you to go ahead and pay attention to the seasons and listen. Listen to what Mother Earth has to tell you. There, there's so much guidance to be had from Mother Earth. Sweet and loving and brutally honest and very grounding. So good for us. Okay, moving on to the third card. Abundance, yay! Who does not like to hear about abundance, right? Who doesn't like to get good news about abundance? Is this is a perfect card for the autumn season because this is where we harvest, right? This is where we reap what we have sowed. And if you've been working towards your goals, a certain type of goal, then this is a season where you are going to see a change, a positive change. You are going to see that you are moving forward. You're gonna get evidence from the universe and from the archangels and from your guides, your spirit guides, that they are with you and they are listening to you that you're gonna see that positivity of abundance come through. Po uh, abundance in every area of your life, and most especially having to do with the goals that you have been working towards. You're gonna see a shift in, in, in a positive direction. So congratulations, that's wonderful. And for the fourth card, Archangel Michael. And this card is near and dear to me because
says Archangel Michael I call on him every day and we are so close I'm so close to him and every time I call upon him he never lets me down never lets me down so I want to encourage you this week to slow down take some time and listen for Archangel Michael in your life he is a leader he is a warrior and he will guide you in the way that you should go he will bring you comfort and he will bring you peace Call on him, invoke Archangel Michael to help you in whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, in whatever circumstance that you find yourself in. Call on Archangel Michael because he always answers. He always answers. Okay, and for the last card of the week, playfulness. Yay! Now, as far as playfulness goes, I love this card because I'm just a big goof myself. And I want to encourage you, the angels are encouraging you to really get a light heart. Be lighthearted about things. Don't take life so seriously. They want you to be playful and have fun in your life. They want you to enjoy your life. Enjoy the processes that you are going through, the changes that you are going through right now. Again, it's so easy for us to get caught up in our responsibilities of home, life, family, work, etc., etc. But the angels here want you to um, get renewed by doing things that you love, being playful and doing things that you love, doing things that, that perhaps you've done, you used to do when you were a child. Did you like to read when you were a child and you haven't for years? Well, start reading again. Did you like to play a certain game when you were a child and you haven't for years? Well, try playing that game again. Whether it's dancing, whether it's riding a bike, whether it's meditating even. Do what you like to do. Bring that joyfulness, that childlike playfulness into your life again. And again, that will help lighten your heart that will help you remove all those burdens so that you can listen, slow down and listen to the archangels, listen to their guidance, listen to the guidance of Mother Earth and what she has to teach you and renew that love of the earth and of the archangels and that love for self again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this reading touched you. Enjoy the autumn equinox. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, love and appreciation. Just an extra note here. For those of you that don't know, uh, I am not only a card reader, but I'm also a trans channel. And I channel Ascended Master Jesus. I've channeled the Pleiadians. I've channeled Kuan Yin. Uh, but mostly I channel Ascended Master Jesus. So I just want to encourage you that uh, to send me your questions. If you have any questions that you would like to ad address to Jesus, then uh, put them down in the comment section and I will get them answered for you. And I'll go ahead and make a video answering that question as I'm channeling Ascended Master Jesus for you, okay? And I just want to say that when I channel Jesus, it's not about getting predictions. It's not about seeing into the future. And it's not about talking to loved ones that have crossed over. Jesus is all about giving messages of guidance, love, healing, and hope. So I just want to offer this opportunity to you. If you have questions that you just can't find an answer to and would like some higher guidance, go ahead and post your questions in the comments section below and I will answer them for you in, with the video as I channel Jesus. Thank you so much. And don't forget to like this video, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, love and appreciation. Mm-hmm.